What is up 2018? I think the last uh, kind of sit down chatty video I did with you guys was when I talked about the creative process behind the album and I found that quite therapeutic and quite enjoyable to do a video like that so here is a little video that's a little bit of the same. If you're ready to kick 2018 where it hurts by the way, give this video a huge thumbs up, make sure you guys subscribe too. I feel like when anybody makes one of these resolution videos or like reflection videos on their previous year and things like that, um, some are filled with regret, some are filled with hope and it's always really nice to see people just reflecting on on anything and being honest with themselves and being willing to share that with other people. However, one thing I absolutely do love and also at the same time hate to see is people announcing big changes. The one thing I love about that is the big change itself, the kind of willingness to be a bigger, better version of yourself. The, the thing I hate about it is the people that resist that and don't want that change to happen. My point here is if anybody ever tells you that you've changed, take that comment with a pinch of salt because it's probably a really good thing. If your year last year was pretty rough, if you went for a rough time, whether it was, uh, you know, if there were obstacles or speed bumps that were thrown in your path for whatever reason on a personal level or on a professional level uh, with your job or your career or whatever it would be, then just remember there's a whole new year ahead and a whole new you if that's what you want and an opportunity to clear those obstacles and you know create a new path for yourself. It takes a determined person to make the smallest change and that could be you this year. Whatever change it might be, whether there's been an obstacle or a speed bump that was thrown at you last year, a curveball perhaps that threw you off course, this is your year to jump back on the track and get stuff done. So whatever it is that you hope to achieve, whatever goals that you've set for yourself personally, you don't have to announce them. I hope you achieve them and I hope you give it your all. And even if you miss the mark by just a little bit, it shows that you're still determined and you're still willing and you can make it happen. So go go do so it's january 3rd right now we were woken up by by our uk standards i would say a pretty vicious storm there was like a lot of lightning going on and all that business and i genuinely thought at one point that some power lines outside our house were gonna fall down it was terrifying that said despite my lack of sleep i'm feeling super hyped uh, for today and the rest of the new year. Um, the reason I'm making this video today is because um, I feel like it is the start of something very exciting and very new. 2018 feels like it's going to be a completely new chapter for me in terms of my music, what I do here on YouTube, how often I change my smoke alarm. That's going to beep throughout the entire video by the way, I'm so sorry. This is a really kind of like off-the-cuff video that I just decided to do. I've literally got in from my walk with Roxy and I wanted to share with you guys some aspirations of mine and some goals that I've set personally for myself this year. Looking back on the last year, it's just been so incredible and none of it would have happened without you guys. So let's do a little recap of what happened last year. So we did the iHeartRadio Awards. I was invited to VidCon to speak on a couple of live streaming panels. I had the opportunity to collaborate with some of my favorite creators. I had the opportunity of going to the first ever VidCon in Amsterdam I started a Kickstarter campaign asking you guys to help me fund the PR and marketing for my new album Brave. We successfully funded that Kickstarter campaign in one month, raising £21,000. You guys really helped bring the album to life in more than just like the Kickstarter campaign. Some of you guys sang on the actual record. A lot of you guys really came together and helped me to get the album out there. So for that, I am eternally grateful and I thank you, thank you very much. I was a winner of YouTube Next Up and I got the opportunity to meet and just hang out with some of the coolest creators in the UK right now. Last year for me was also the year of traveling. I've never traveled as much as I have in the past 12 months. It's been insane. We've been over to the US three or four times, which is crazy. Uh, we obviously visited Amsterdam and that's not gonna stop throughout this year. I've already got some really exciting trips planned to do with music, to do with my career, to do with you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So yes, last year was a roller coaster of a ride and 2018 is looking to be uh, just something else. Yes, I'll be gigging. Yes, I'll be traveling. Yes, I'll be broadcasting. And yes, I'll be writing new music throughout the year as we go. But there's some other things and other projects that I'll be starting up to. While I've always been the one to say that I will never set 
New Year's resolutions and, you know, I will never keep New Year's resolutions. I think there's something to be said that you don't have to set a resolution on New Year's Eve and expect to keep it for 365 days throughout the year. You can set a resolution or a goal at any point in your life. I made a kind of whimsical resolution last year that I really wanted to start snowboarding um, and that didn't happen in 2017 <laughs> but by golly who says that <laughs> but by golly is that gonna change this year I've got some serious plans and I'm gonna be going snowboarding and taking some lessons and hopefully traveling to uh, a few different countries to test out my skills later on in the year with James of course who is a South proclaimed pro. It is something that has always terrified me, but in the spirit of brave, I'm gonna do it. So through all the traveling and all the songwriting, I definitely had my fair share of time to do some soul searching last year, and it really kind of brought me down to some goals that I knew I had to set for this year, for good reasons, both for my career and for personal reasons. For my content here on YouTube, you guys will probably notice some changes very, very soon. Don't worry, they're good changes and you guys will still be getting the same content you've always had from me, just with some new additions. New additions that I've wanted to pull in to this channel for quite some time. I wanted to work on a series of videos where you guys are actually able to take something positive away from a video and use it in the real world. Uh, I wanna encourage creativity. That has always been um, my kind of goal on this channel alongside my own music and getting that out to you guys. So yeah, I guess watch that space. We also have a brand new studio that we're still in the process of building and it's gonna be finished very, very soon. You guys will see me broadcasting a lot more from the studio and hopefully there'll be a studio tour video in the pipeline too. You guys had some great reactions and questions to my previous studio tour uh, of my little mini studio that I have myself at home. But this new studio is on a whole other level. It's gonna enable us to have a huge space to work in to work on the content that we really wanna get out. So new music, new videos, new YouTube content, new everything. Some of you guys on Snapchat have been asking if I'm gonna keep my hair the way it is and uh, the solid answer to that is uh, Yes. Quite honestly, I've never loved my hair so much and to go back to brown or blonde right now uh, would just make me so sad. I'm enjoying being this colourful and uh, yeah, 2018 is going to be a pretty colourful year, so the hair stays. Will 2018 be the year of a second pug? Pro probably not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There's been a particular event that happened over the past, what, 40, 48 hours? Um, uh, here on YouTube a certain video that was uploaded and you know what I'm not going to talk about it directly I'm not going to mention names. I'm not going to mention anything that happened um, But one thing I will say is this I always admire people that throw everything at what they do and When it comes to people especially creators who create daily I Have no idea where that energy comes from and I've always admired that but with all this work that's put in and the successes that come out from that, whether it's building a huge following, you know, a lot of responsibility comes with that. If you are one of those people, then this year in 2018, be conscious, particularly of younger people who are watching your videos, watching your content, because you are an influence. You might not believe it, but there are some people, some young people who probably watch your content, who might copy everything and everything you do down to your mannerisms down to your hair color i hope you guys don't do this <laughs> down to everything down to the smallest little thing there are so many eyes on devices and just be conscious that if you have a large following you are an influence and be responsible about that and try and use that power because because it is power try and use that power in a way that is going to affect people positively and always give everything a second thought. So that's it for this video. I think I'm going to sign out. Make sure you guys watch this space, hit like and subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching. Make sure you guys go and listen to my new album Brave on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon and Google Play, all of those places. If you haven't already, I'll leave some links in the description below. And you, the person that's watching now, I wish you the very best for 2018. Go and make it happen.